Right, I'm back. Uh, and there we are. All right. So I'm going to work on this one specifically anymore. Shoot, what do I want to do? Maybe I keep working on this one? I don't know. No, it was a neat little, little groove. Although, just that scream. It's just like this little piano keyboards kind of roadsy and then I put the distortion on and just like screams at the end. It's kind of nice. Anyway, uh, what else do I want to do with this? Or not with this, what do I want to do with this? I gotta keep, stop doing that. It hurt my shoulder. I don't know what I did. I mean, I think I just overexerted it. I'm just obnoxious how I overexerted it. Oh, Dinkle's still out here. All right, let's check this out. I think I'm just gonna bounce around and do whatever the fuck I want. It's been a while since I've just kind of legit did nothing but play. And I think I've been doing that since like Friday. So. Non sequitur, but like one of the um, sort of silver lighting things about my ancestral lands being occupied by the U.S. and Mexican governments is that uh, bourbon and tequila are fairly cheap, so that's nice. I live in the U.S. now, so it's it's bourbon that's a little cheaper. But you can, it's like tequila's just gotten cheaper in the U.S., or at least maybe on this side. Maybe just on this part of the U.S., um, because of the way that Mexico influences the side of the U.S. Um, but it's gone way down in price. So, like, I can get, like, a liter of really good tequila for... probably... $26. You know, because there's always, like, a sale somewhere. <laughs> But like bourbon, I can get a liter of Jack for like $16, $17 normally. And then like if it's on sale, I've gotten them for like $12, $13 before. And Jim Beam, their regular line is, I mean, it's barrel aged, regular ass fucking bourbon. It's not, it's good stuff. They don't, they don't it's not fucked up. But anyway. <laughs> Booze. All right, I, I was trying to remember, decide. I don't know. I've been thinking about what I want to do with this project. I think I just want to move it to a slightly different folder. Did I end up mastering this? No, I didn't even do a quick master. Huh. Uh, let's open you. There's like a Angostura bitters. And it's like a little bit of like a cinnamon scent to it. I mean, it might have cinnamon in it as part of the, I don't know, what, brewing or whatever of the liqueur, is it liqueur spirit of some sort? Aperitif. Yeah, it's, you know, I can't drink that much anymore either. And it's kind of a bummer because I, I really like beer and I really like certain spirits. But, like, I can do this. I haven't had, well, that's not true. I've been, I've been drinking a lot the last, like, two weeks. And so I think I've had, I think I had three beers last week. <laughs> the whole week. Yeah, and Fireball's nice too because it's not like, I mean, it could always be better, I guess, but it's not bad whiskey. And then, like, it's just sugar and cinnamon on top. Like, you really can't, can't lose. It's not really my thing, but like, it's also like one of those things, like, if you go to a party, especially 
in the U.S. and like my age group, so like from like 30 to 60, like someone always ends up bringing a bottle of Fireball. And so if like that's what's there and someone's like, have a shot of Fireball, like it's not like they're offering me a shot of Jaeger or a shot of piss or something. <laughs> like I'll drink it. It's just it's not what I'm like choose to drink if someone's like, hey, what do you want? You know? Uh, but yeah, no, it is. It's nice. I do like cinnamon. I just... I don't know. I don't really like that, like, intense cinnamony thing. Well, it's, it's just a schnapps, essentially, right? Like, or maybe literally is a schnapps. I don't know. But like, uh... I just like it as a subtle thing in, in, in like certain foods or drinks. Sometimes you get a uh, like a wine that has a just a little bit of a hint of of like it's you know it's not even cinnamon but it's like some weird texture you get from the earth that it grew in that year or some shit and just a little bit of cinnamon to it. It's kind of neat. I feel like cabs get that. Maybe it's a Cabernet thing. I don't know. I don't really know wine. I just know I like it. <laughs> wine that tastes good, tastes good. Uh, yeah, see, I... It's funny. Jaeger, I don't like. But there's something about it that, like... Like, I cannot turn down a shot of Jaeger if someone offers me a shot of Jaeger. But I've probably twice in my life just voluntarily asked for Jaeger. Because I don't like like the flavor, but it's the experience is something. You know what I mean? Like, it's just an intense experience. And so it's kind of fun. Uh... And tequila's the same thing, except for tequila, like, for whatever reason, is a flavor that I enjoy. So, I don't like bad tequila, though. Like, Cuervo Gold, they just take, like, the worst silver ever and put, like, caramel coloring in it. And it's just, oh. Oh, yeah. No, that's the other thing is, so, I think that's what it is, is that I don't like that, like, anise or licorice flavor. I meant for it to be this loud. Sorry, that was just kind of annoying in my my monitor. Let me see my levels real quick for a second. Okay. Um But like Like I don't like those things by themselves. Like just like so that's part of why I don't like Jaeger. Like I don't want to just drink a shot of Jaeger or drink Jaeger in like a Jaeger cranberry probably wouldn't do it for me. Those flavors are too together, you know? And so, uh, but I like them in stuff. Like I love sausage or pizza that is just fucking loaded with fennel. And uh, I make this sausage fennel chowder sometimes. And, and it's just like as much as I can get in there because it's got all these other flavors with it. And so like, that flavor with stuff is just like so exciting to me and so yeah it's so like like a jaeger red bull fuck me dude like i don't know what it is it, it, it'll be funny too because it'll be like one of those things like like um if you give a baby a lemon slice sometimes but they like it but it's also really sour to them, right? They'll, they'll like take a bite of the lemon and then they'll like make a face and then they go take another like jab at it, right? And, and so it's kind of like that with like, with like Jaeger Red Bulls for me. And so like, I'll take a drink and I'll be like, yeah. And then I'm like, no. And I'm like, all right, more. <laughs> and it's, it's like, yeah, it's the experience. But it's, it's, it's also, that's intense. Like I can do like one of those and it's just, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I used to get fucking in trouble in my 20s. That shit. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. I want to make sure this is compact here. Click 
don't save. And I don't know, what are we gonna do? Remember, oh, ooh, 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 what's, I guess I was gonna go through and see if anything sounds like a thing that sounded fun. Oh, I was gonna fix this. Maybe I'll just fix it now. The, the master is all fucked up because I just did like a quick thing with it to get it on the SoundCloud to show bricks, but um, I mean, it's just, it's such a, I got the song already. It's such an easy video to make that I just need to do it. So I want to make this a little bit nicer so that I can put it in a video. Oh, it's right here. I see what I did. <clears throat> um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I just, let me finish get this thing mastered. <laughs> Hold on. What is... Are you like super cranks? That part of it? You just a big mouse in the ass. A clownfish. Bounce all trash. Hope there's more fish in the sea. Cause you a corny ass tchotchke. <laughs> See you later, nerds! <laughs> I forgot about that part. Oh, holy shit. Okay. A clownfish. Bounce all trash. Hope there's more fish in the sea. Cause you're a corny ass trash team. You got the originality and inside. I'm spelling 8008 on the calculator. Calculator, calculator, calculator. Calculator, nerds! That makes me so happy. Or, or like, box. You just a big mouse in the ass. A clownfish, bounce all trash. Hope there's more fish in the sea. Cause you a corny ass trash kid. Amateur crossing in, more sorry masturbate. So me, you really scream on this week. You got the originality and inside. I'm spelling 8008 on the calculator. joke about going to uh, rap battle building the big mouth bass and so or big mouth billy bass big big mouth billy bass is that right yeah look at the name now <laughs> but uh and so this was the rap battle i wrote a clownfish 
down so trash Hope there's more fish in the sea Cause you a corny ass trash key Bow, 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 bow Amateur crustinator, more exciting masturbator The beat's so weak, you really scream on the street You got the originality and inside The spelling ain't O-O-A on the calculator, calculator. Slugs, what was that? Stop that. 
no, no, no. Say it's stop. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, reopen this. Just on the off chance I fucked anything up. Don't save changes. Because, right? Like, shouldn't that. Yeah. A holes. <laughs> Come on now. That's right, I like made a granulator. And I haven't found a spot that I like for it yet. This already has that in there. I have such a fucking goober. I don't need this place. Okay, how about then? Oh, wait. He's building it into this? Oh, neat. Okay.
gonna spike this up, but I don't know how. You know what I'm doing? I know, I know, I know.
It's so silly.
is wacky. It's just a fun noise. Banana slugs. <clears throat> it's Grammy. Um, I think this one I like. I already know what it is, but I'll listen to it again. I don't know. Maybe I'll decide to do something with it. I don't want to do this fucking thing. Oh, it also reminds me I was... This one. Can I put it in here? Did it work? Fuck sticks. That's okay. Do it later. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. It's off. Your baker, give him a shake up. Right when you feel like you're sitting pretty in pros, you get mad bulldozed. Yeah, yeah. Why so down with a frown? God damn, you think you're this whole brand? I think it'd be also, see there's lots of ways that like me earning a living could be super dope. Like another one could be the producer behind a couple really successful rappers who no one even knows. Go straight to my head, like 
any chance I had at trying to not slur my words, half a half a whiskey in is gone. Words will be slurred. There will be slurred. No. <laughs> It reminds me of the word slurm from Futurama, which is such a fucking outstanding word, slurm. And it's gross, like it should be. It's awesome. Be skill page. What the fuck are you? What have I done? What is this thing? Oh, you look weird. <laughs> This doesn't do anything for me right now. All right, uh, beep boobs, beep boobs, boosh mooshed. Rouch. Cardinal five, did you turn out to be anything interesting? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, maybe not. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe this is an intentional loop? What do you sound like?
the one I'm on right now. Yes, I think it's a yes. I just didn't realize I got it late. It's funny, someone was asking me a while back um, about like getting over this thing where you don't want to mess up your progress so far, like what you've already done. And I was trying to explain to them how like eventually I just got to this point where it was like, well, if I lose something that I previously had, then I just make something else. And like, like, yeah, sometimes it's a bummer a little bit, but like, it's fucking chuck stuff all the time because something new I might like better. And if I don't like that thing better, and it's recent, like usually I can control Z and if it's later on down the road, like I'll find something I like, you know? Like, this is kinda cool. How did I do those doubles recently? I guess I can just do the delay on and off. Well, let's see what else is in here. already like the baseline from the last um, project I just had open a moment ago. I'm sure there's something even more fun in here.
bay. Is that what I wanted? What's it doing? Oh, I remember. Actually, I should do this back here. chains are like like this sonic game of mouse trap the board game like i like putting together these like rube goldberg devices of 
effects to take like this uncut block of wood and like shove it through this conveyor belt of like effects that just cut off and shave and move different pieces and then at the other end coming out you have like the sound I want and like the other approach to that is you can just find those fucking sounds and record them <laughs> you know what I mean like that's what a lot of people do like sound engineering sound engineering or like a studio engineer or some other kind of like you know like scene engineer is is doing that it's kind of like two different paths from the opposite side of the mountain to the peak you know uh but like the process of doing that of like putting all that shit together creating these like effects chains is is the is, is fun for me it tickles my brain just ended up figuring it out like I'd seen some talk about it but like the, the explanations were clear and made a lot of sense to me but like how compression works and I'm gonna oversimplify it because there's kind of different like algorithmic approaches that people take or that hardware you know imposes via a circuit but like um, otherwise, the, the same basic premises apply. So for a compressor, what it does is it just says reduce the volume. And specifically, the way that it does this is it sets a threshold. And so anything above the threshold, it takes as sort of like a variable input. This is I have that much over, that much too many. And then it has a ratio that multiplies times that how much to reduce from um, might be explaining that backward inversely as far as the division the, the ratio part of it but like it reduces so the more it goes over the more it reduces and um, so the part that like that makes sense just by itself. You're like, oh, okay, well, if it goes over, like I don't wanna blow my speakers, right? Or make like the sound ugly from clipping. So it just reduces it. So it's not hitting that clip threshold. Um, but the thing is, is like that doesn't work for all sounds to just do it like automatically like that. You get these, they're digital clips or hard clips um, and it adds distortion actually. And so, they have this attack and release and knee that's involved in this now. And, uh, well now, natural progression of compression. <laughs> that was cool. I have exactly the right amount of high for that rhyme to just really tickle me. But, um, so like, the attack does is it takes an amount of time and it says it's going to take me that long to do all of my gain reduction all of my like decrease in volume and so you can sort of like shape how long it takes to go down which creates these little spikes in the sound um and then or remove spikes in sound depending on how if you make it really long or if you do it very quickly and then um, the release is just how long before it lets the sound go back to normal. Um, I'm just doing that because I like the way, like compressors are neat, the way they work. Just, 
They're a fun little gadget, you know? I like dynamics. Dynamic effects are fun. They just are... They're, they're exactly what I like. They feel like programming in a very hardware sense of the way. Of the word. Of the way. <laughs> Oh man, I want to do this so late tonight. I mean, I'm not going to sleep anyway. I might as well. You know what I'm going to do? Let me get another, like, little jam open. And then um, I'll work on it or won't when I get back. But I'm going to take a quick smoke break while I do that. Whatever game you're playing, Sim, I hope you're kicking ass. Oh shit, I hit, like... I hit, like... Lovey, lovey drunk. I'm gonna tell everyone how nice I think they are. <laughs> yeah, fuck it, listen to this, I'll be back in a minute.
right, I'm finally back. I got lost in my garage. But I also got soda. <laughs> or a pop. Or a fresco. No, what do they call it in England? Yeah, what do they call sodas in England? It's just funny because there's like regional terms in the U.S. even, so like we don't even all call it the same thing. Hey, thank you. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> oh, I was gonna do... Oh fuck, I lost it. <laughs> the pleasures of ADHD. No, it might come back. Um, but I was gonna do something about bass. What was that bass? Bubba bass. I think it's bass. Oh, I remember. Well, I remember the, the thought I had. But what, it wasn't really fleshed out yet. But I think it was this motherfucker. Let's see what I can do with you. What do I want to do with you? Here's something in here. Oh, what's what keys this in? A minor, easy peasy.
Williams. easy enough. I'll still forget it if I don't write it down. I'm write it down. I'm gonna check it out. I, uh, someone hooked me up to a song about, um, called Ketamine Therapy, and I forget the artist now. I've never had ketamine, but what it, um, did remind me of is just like music that I have made about the experience of being on drugs. I, I've liked, like I like songs that 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 do a good job of feel like feeling like they capture like a feeling or right like an experience in that way. I, I dig that. <laughs> kind of one of those funny things. I'm like, oh, I don't even if I try ketamine or not because I got that song. It's cool. <laughs> I mean, but I smoke a lot of weed, so... <laughs> when would I fit ketamine? What if some of them did this? Maybe I can do this with Glitch. Excuse me. Do I just want four beats, maybe?
All right, that's kind of neat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, interesting time. Hopefully most people's 20s. You don't have an interesting 20s. I know, I feel like my body in my 30s couldn't have handled my 20s, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, I was, I was hard on things. Brown, 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 ba ba brown, 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 brown. How are you? Spaghetti. I <laughs> I think I just have never at any point started to form an idea of what the fuck it is that I'm doing with this thing. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything. It's fun. Like it would be the song and the soundtrack of an indie movie with some like comedian that did like a serious role in an indie project at Sundance and there's a scene in like the middle of act two and shit's getting all angsty and they're in the middle of a rave They've done some E. It's fun up here. It's fun. It's good times. to me the way that I imagine that like people just a little bit younger than me 80s and 90s run together for them but like so it was a documentary though about these bands as they went through like this London circuit it's a lot more British like the doors and man, the doors were in that one and, do a lot of the doors who else but then there was like u.s bands there was like a lot of clips and, and talking about Jimi hendrix and the show fuck i don't care what that was called but like um a bit of it was about the rolling stones also and it was excuse me it 
was kind of a fucking trip, because, like, I've never really bothered to learn anything about Mick Jagger other than, like, some of the Stones music, really. Like, I saw, uh, what movie was he fucking in? like 1982 like you could have just replaced Mick Jagger with David Bowie's style of movie you know what I mean uh what was it and he was like a hitman an assassin that this guy hired to get his oh It's Free Jack. It was Free Jack. <laughs> he was in Free Jack. And, uh. I don't fucking know that. This is like after I saw this documentary anyway. So I didn't, like, I didn't know Jack shit about Mick Jagger. I didn't know Mick Jack about Mick Jagger. I didn't know Jack Mick. There we go. I didn't know Jack Mick about Mick Jagger. <laughs> um, I, I was watching this, this this documentary and it was just a trip because they have all these like clips of him and uh, he's uh, just like just like hanging out in the house or like in the studio with friends or like whatever right and we're in bandmates and shit and uh, he's like just fucking humming and rattling off and like singing goofy shit just like Mick Jagger was a fucking autistic dude and there's just these clips and clips and clips of him engaged in echolalia and it's just outstanding and I was like Never in my life did I think I would be at some like situation such some situation where I'd be like you know, I kind of relate to Mick Jagger. <laughs> it's like pretty wild. But like, it makes a lot of sense if you think about it too. Like, he's just got music like in his fucking head 24 seven. And so whatever he got out, he got out, you know? I don't know what triggered that. That was, anyway, I gotta figure out what that fucking documentary was. we got all right it's kind of neat you know what that's a i'll leave that there for a while it can always be a thing i can listen to every so often when i come back through um this is new what was this what were you what were you oh it's funny how Fast some of those. I just fucking did this. This is today. Have I done. I, I had done this in a stream at some point today. <laughs> yeah, I was just fucking listening to working on this. Yeah, before the break, I think. I was just a fucking goober. That's cool. Like, oh, it's screaming. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, things that are wrong with my memory. Uh, domo. Domo arigato. Domo arigato. Gozai something something. Gozer? Damn, hardly know her. What the fuck am I doing? Sure, save that. Uh, where, 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 where? Oh, I remember the new. ADHD. Boo, 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 boo. Why do you hate me? Oh, fuck. Okay, that still doesn't work. All right, cool. Nope, stop, you fucking cock ass son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, this thing. 
it's fun. A little maybe too cheery for my taste, but. thinking this was play <laughs> what is wrong with my ah, 
it's, I, I don't know, maybe people don't believe it. Me, it feels like a thing that shouldn't be believed, but I was running this song in my head. This has, this has a recording on it, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not messing with this one yet, huh? What did it sound like that without it? What was this? Um, yeah, it's all right. This is for something else. What were you? Bum, ba da bum, bum, ba da bum, bum, ba da bum.
That's, uh, that's fun. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I can find a couple things to at least tweak in this, keep it going on its way. Doing a remix, remaster, re whole retooling of a song I already did. So weird. So a big part of it was just getting the patches set back up. just if there's so much and I can't I, I don't feel like trying to decide what I'm going to cut out this stuff's got to go it's just a matter of figuring out how and what Oh, hey, yeah, so thanks for stopping by, Sim. Have a good night. Um, and yeah, cool. Uh, I'll chat about you, make some noise at you for, for the rest of the time that I'm here.
Let me just keep going. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I don't know. Do I wanna work on this right now or is it gonna overwhelm me? It's a noisy song. cut shit out of that make it thinner so that the vocals can be heard anyway what 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 do I want to open next next uh, I'll forget I can work on this a little bit too Let's make it a little better Boop, excuse me, boop, beep, -de boop, beep, beep, <laughs>
So I brought in the toms right then, my flopping tom. Flopping toms, flopping toms, flopping toms. So the video for this can just be some flopping toms. wanted to be Lord Tom that morphs into a cat that morphs into a Tom well it's getting drummed on a cartoon not a real cat don't 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 be cats with drumsticks I think I fought that <laughs>
you doing? Nothing. Was I playing on this? Sounds like a thing I might do. and a weed beer. Recommend. This is working for me. Apparently I never decided what I wanted to do with this base here. What was I like playing in? Oh. Okay.
not sure what I'm doing there. Not sure, not sure, not sure. You know what? I just want to fucking listen to this some more. Run it three or four times through while I finish my beer. Just, mmm. I don't know what I'm saying. Ready, go.
I'm gonna go ahead and call it that night. Um, but I am AC, Amateur Crastinator. You can find out more about my music at amateurcrastinator.com. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, I do sound sessions like this where I just work in the studio and whatever I want to work on. Um, I got a new album, The Green Album, coming out February 23rd in all the streaming places. So keep an ear out for that. New single, uh, Scream City Varsity Zobball, came out fairly recently. So that's streaming in all the places. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Have a good day.